What's going on YouTube? Uh, fragrance review for you guys. These three fragrances are clones of Invictus Aqua. They all have their little take on them, a little bit different, a little spin-off. I'll be giving you my opinion on them, why I like them, maybe why I don't. You'll see why. These three fragrances are something you could wear in the summertime. Kind of something like a dumb reach. You could just reach for it every day. Not going to have a problem with uh, maybe overpowering someone at work or anything like that. Kind of like a fresh shower, shower scent. This first one over here, this is Rich Man Aqua. Now, you can find this for about 35, 40 bucks. I paid 35 for this one with the box and everything. This is made by Paris Blue. Uh, top, mo top notes are pineapple, pink pepper, pe pear. Middle notes would be C notes, orange blossom, base notes, lavender, cedar, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. Things that really stand out for me on this one uh, would be the pineapple, the pear, that water note, kind of like a deep sea. That lavender also kind of just smells like something coming out of the dryer sheets. Um, you also get that sweet smell. Um, that pear kind of pops out every once in a while. You get that sweet pineapple. Pretty good. Um, probably lasts five to six hours. It's not a beast mode, but it's 35 to 40 dollars. Respray when you have to. Not a big deal. Um, I actually really like this one. I would probably rate it the top out of these three. The dry down is really nice. Really nice lavender smell that's very inoffensive to anyone. And if you aren't really into fragrances, you'll probably like the smell of this. That would be Rich Man Aqua by Paris Blue. Next up, we have uh, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. This one's really popular in the fragrance community. Um, kind of like a citrus blast on this one. It's uh, inoffensive, a little bit synthetic when you first spray it. So, uh, Rich Man is a little bit less synthetic than Legend Spirit. Now, when it comes to Legend Spirit, you got a grapefruit that really stands out in the top note. You got a bergamot, pink pepper. Middle notes would be a water note that really stands out to me. Lavender as well, and a cardamom. Base notes would be a musk. That musk, it really sticks out. I don't know the white musk. I don't know what they mean by that, but this is what Fragrantica is saying. We got a white musk, white, white woods, cashmere wood, oak moss, and right when you first spray this, you just get like a citrus blast, kind of like a lavender, watery, um, not really like a C note, more so just like a fresh crisp with that, uh, with that citrus. You can really smell that. Next up, you have First Instinct Together by Abercrombie & Fitch. This one's probably the most youth smelling one out of all of these. Um, it's just a little bit sweeter. It's got an apple note that really stands out to me. It's not really what I would call bu bubbly. Um, some people maybe, but to me it's not. Uh, top note, you got the green apple, pineapple leaf, grapefruit, and cardamom. Um, middle notes, you got lavender, that one sticks out to me. Orange blossom, base notes would be musk, sandalwood, and cedar. Um, so when I'm really smelling this, really getting like a sandalwood, a deep sea note, like really just like that blue, freshy smell. It's also pretty sweet from that green apple. So these, these two are both pretty sweet. You got the pear in this one, you got the apple in this one. Uh, they all three have the pineapple in them. This one has a pineapple leaf in it, which I can't tell the difference. It's not really a scent that really sticks out to me. And kind of like that grapefruit. So they're all pretty citrusy. All kind of fresh summer fragrances that are kind of leaning in Victus Aqua. They're all pretty cheap. This one, uh, 30 to 40, about 50 to 60 on this one. And what was it, 35 to 40 bucks on that one. Now, when it comes to the dry down of these three, they're all pretty spot on. Um, I'm gonna be honest. They all probably smell the same to everybody. Um, maybe about 20% of people are actually gonna tell the difference. Uh, if you're walking by, they're all three gonna smell identical. Rich Man, um, that one's a little bit more uh, softer, um, not really refined, but it's kind of soft. It's got some deep sea notes in that that's really going to give it that watery, crisp smell. Um, now, if you want it something even more crisp, that's when you would reach for the Mont Blanc uh, Spirit. Now, this one, when you first spray it, it's 
probably the most synthetic out of these three. This one's gonna last probably the most, but then again, it initially does smell synthetic to me at least. And when it comes to the first instinct together, this one, it's pretty dang good. It just doesn't really last compared to these other two. And I'll be honest, I do love the smell of this one. It's very sweet, um, kind of stands out a little bit, but then again, it, these all three smell pretty spot on to the Invictus Aqua. They're cheap. You don't need to spend 180 plus or whatever Invictus Aqua is going for nowadays. So if you're looking for an Invictus Aqua 2016 banger or something similar, these three could be uh, very similar to what you want. Um, Rich Man Aqua, 35, 40 bucks. Mont Blanc, Legend Spirit, about 50 to 60. First then Seek Together by Abercrombie and Fitch. Looking at anywhere from $15 if you can find it at TJ Maxx, maybe Ross, uh, anywhere up to 40 bucks. Uh, if I had to pick any one of these to wear, I'm probably picking Rich Man Aqua. It is just softer, less harsh. Um, this one's a little more harsh. We're talking just kind of got that unpleasant smell that you, you, you get from the cheaper fragrances. Nothing against it, it dries down fine. Um, and then this one as well is a little bit sweeter. So if I were to order these, I'd probably just order them like that, one, two, three, and honestly you can't go wrong with any of these. They're all budget fragrances, so if you don't like one, maybe you can just order a different one. And that's it. If you guys are looking for more of these fragrance videos from me, I will definitely be posting some more. And hopefully this will help you out for some cheap budget frags.